So there's a major rumor swirling around the House of Mouse. And that rumor is that Kevin Feige has seen the light. He's seen the error of Marvel's ways for the last five years since Avengers Endgame. And that rumor is, is that Marvel Studios has dismissed their woke, incompetent SJW, SJW producers and creatives following the massive failures of Phase Boar. And these rumors have been corroborated by none other than film threats Chris Gore who recently appeared on the Critical Drinkers YouTube channel, uh, Drinkers Chasers. He does that, I believe Drinker does that daily, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time on his YouTube channel. And according to Chris Gore, who, who knows people, he knows a lot of people um, within Hollywood. Of course, he's been doing this for a long time. But Chris Gore detailed, and I'm pulling this from Bounding Into Comics, that Kevin Feige recognizes basically, he said he tried it and it didn't work. Meaning, working with the, the woke producers and creatives. He's talking about phase four. He continued, or continued the noted film critic. That's it, tried it, didn't work. No Kang. None of these side characters that don't have any legacy of classic characters. And if Deadpool and Wolverine proves anything, you've heard the phrase male and pale is stale, which has been spoken aloud across studios in Hollywood. But if you look at the box office this year, I would say male and pale is money. And that's the phrase that I think people should more adopt. They should. Ultimately, whether or not Marvel Studios actually has changed their post-Phase 4 identity politics-based approach to the Marvel Cinematic Universe remains to be seen. You know, we have a couple movies coming up now that we're past Deadpool and Wolverine. The first one being Black Falcon, Captain America, Brave New World in February. And the next one being the Thunderbolts, which I think is, I want to say July next year. And then you've got Fantastic Four, which I myself, I have some pretty high hopes for Fantastic Four. I mean, Marvel's tried Fantastic Four time and time and time again, even the unreleased one from the early 90s, which you can't find online and watch it. It's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so I hope they get the Fantastic Four right this time. We also have, you know, Agatha all along coming up on Disney+. Plus. We still got Ironheart, which has been in the can for like three years. It's been done. So if this rumor is true and we're, we're, we're done with the woke SJWs on the Marvel side, we still have about a year, year plus of stuff coming out from Marvel that's, that's basically done by these, these creatives, these individuals. Uh, but as far as Lucasfilm goes, which is the other half of the equation, Lucasfilm's doubling down. They're not budging. They are all in on the SJW creatives. In fact, Gore, Gore mentions Lucasfilm in the video and says he, Star Wars is a lost cause. He says here, they're lost. They're doubling down on all the nonsense. You will never get anything good out of Lucasfilm and Star Wars. That's it. That's according to Chris Gore. I, I tend to believe Chris Gore when it comes to these things. Like I said, he's well connected within Hollywood. So there you go. Marvel is turning a new direction. I mean, they did have the announcement, Robert Downey Jr.'s back, but 
How are they going to handle Robert Downey Jr. as Dr. Doom? Remember, he posted an Instagram video shortly after his appearance at Comic-Con that said, uh, what was it? New mask, same task? Is he a Tony Stark variant that becomes Dr. Doom? Or is he just an actor playing a character, playing a role? So what do you guys think about this rumor? That Marvel is turning a corner. I mean, I hope this isn't one of those situations where the more things change, the more they stay the same. I hope Kevin Feige has seen the error of his ways for the last five years and, and really truly wants to change, make changes within Marvel to make Marvel better, or at least make the MCU better. So comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, take, please take some time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. That helps out. Get my videos out there and promote it on YouTube. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.